All right, so I am a West Coast swing dancer and I've been seeing a lot of chatter lately about having to dance in masks here in the future and a lot of people saying that it couldn't be done or they wouldn't because it would be too hard, that kind of stuff. Um, I am also a scientist, so I wanted to see for myself. Um, this is a fairly standard experiment. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to run, which to me is more difficult than dance. Um, but it's the closest that I can do without having um, access to a lot of partners. So I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to go for my normal run. Normal. I don't run that much. Um, but it's going to be 20-25 minutes. I don't run fast, um, but I do pretty much run consistently. And I'm going to be wearing my standard cloth mask. So we're going to see how it goes and see if it's possible. Um, I have done just about everything the same that I do before my normal runs. So the only variable here should be the mask. So here it goes. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. I run one lap in my apartment, which is right around three quarters of a mile. The running part wasn't bad. This is actually way worse right now. So I'm just getting kind of humid doing this in Louisiana. It has just rained. Um, gonna do my walking lap, then my second run lap. Okay, this isn't the end of my walking lap, but it's been four minutes since I stopped running and my mask is still a little bit humid, but it's definitely cooled off. It gets actually cooler under my face mask from that evaporation than elsewhere. But it's still kind of just wet, if that makes sense. It's really humid in the mask. But uh, much just cooler. in a mile, haven't died yet. Okay. Time for lap two, pretty day. I hate running. Okay, so I just finished I run. Um, I ended up doing just over half an hour of running and just under two miles. So definitely not my best time, but it's been a hot minute since I ran. Um, my first lap was running and it was about three quarters of a mile. And then I did half a lap of walking and then my last three quarter mile lap running. Um, Overall, the worst part about it was that first like five or so minutes of walking on that half lap. Um, it was really just kind of hot and humid and you could feel that you were wearing a mask right then. Um, the last lap, um, the last three quarters of a mile was actually not bad at all. Um, I almost forgot that I was wearing the mask, if that makes sense. Um, it was slightly harder to breathe, I will absolutely admit that. Um, but it wasn't so hard to breathe that I wouldn't do it, um, especially if it meant that I could do other activities that I enjoy. Um, I do have to admit that I am going into the conclusion section of this video a little bit biased. I am very pro wearing mask. Um, I'm not gonna hide that. Um, but I did wanna see for myself if it was possible because I didn't want to just fall back on that thought process and that bias without experiencing something similar-ish. Um, there are some obvious issues that I thought of on the run. Um, when I'm dancing, I want to be able to drink water, um, which is obviously not doable with a mask. Um, and it kind of defeats the point if you are constantly taking the mask on and off. Um, so I do know that um, there's a lot of other issues that can come with that. And if you're one of those people that says that they can't wear a mask because they already have a hard time breathing or they have asthma, I absolutely agree with you, as do most doctors and scientists. If you are someone that can't wear a mask normally, or sorry, if you're somebody that can't breathe normally, you shouldn't wear a mask. Um, Anything that further impedes your ability to breathe is bad, but that's why it's important for me and other people that can to wear a mask. Um, 
So I guess draw what you will out of this video and out of this experiment. I will personally continue to wear my mask and hopefully I get to dance soon. Thanks guys.